Today, we're in Detroit to show you guys why going to a Detroit Lions game needs to be on your NFL bucket list. And it has nothing to do with the amazing food or how loud the fans get, but the city has so many amazing things to offer. Now let's get downtown. Whether you're coming from across state or across the country, Detroit has some awesome hotels for you to stay in, including the Westin, Hotel Indigo, and of course, the iconic Shinola Hotel. When traveling to a new city, the most important thing is food. Detroit has your high-end steakhouses all the way down to your fast casual dining spots. And of course, hop over to a Coney Island to get yourself a Coney dog. What? How good does that look right now? Look at Woodward Coney, baby. Get yourself a Coney, baby. Usually I tell Katie exactly where we're gonna eat. I clue her in on the on the whole process, but I'm telling you guys, I'm surprising her today. We both have wanted to go here for a while. I can't wait to see what this place is like. I'm gonna be honest, there's way too many restaurants to choose from down here, but today we've landed inside. Union Assembly, baby. Right outside Comerica Park. Actually, this is gonna be the first time we have ever had this. Very excited for this. I don't know how to explain this like Katie would. Katie, Katie's that wizard when it comes to anything to do with detail, right? Something about this, Katie, maybe you could tell them after. The bun gets me quarter chub. Tell me the bun doesn't look insane. The fries are five guys. That's five guys fries with this beautiful aesthetic. <laughs> hey, I knocked on the door, I came. That's it, we came, we saw, we hit him right there in the jaw, right? That's all we gotta do here. That's gorgeous. Everybody pray before you eat. Ooh, thank you for blessing us with this food. Thank you for blessing us with this amazing day. Let's have a great day, Lord. Amen, boys, enjoy. Boom. Holy sh don't see it, try this. That's the best burger I've had in Detroit by far. This is, you got cheese? Are you kidding me? Also, bun is glistening with butter. Do you see that glisten? That bun, look, look at me. Oh yeah, that, that bun is glistening, baby. It's got that shine to it and that's what I like. Hurry, I can feel the money slipping away, hurry. <laughs> ah. Now that we're filled up with that amazing food, it's time to play. Detroit has three of the best casinos we've ever been to. Motor City, Greek Town, and our favorite, MGM. Did you even go to Detroit if you're not going to the casino? Come on, Come on. Better. we got three of them. How could you not go to at least one? I don't know if we're actually gonna place some bets, but we are gonna show you what it looks like inside. Knowing me, we probably are gonna place some bets, right? Give me your money. I don't have any money, give me your money. Give me your money, guys. No, I'm not even joking. I don't have any money. Give me your money, Aaron. Take my money, damn it. There we go. I swear, the casino is a if you know, you know type of thing because civilians, us NPCs, don't know what the hell is going on. And a lot of you may be like me. I don't, I don't judge anybody when they say this. The gambling, the sports gambling, the cards may not do it for you. You want a real gamble? Gamble with your life. Walk down here at 3 a.m. and see if you escape this shit. I'm scared right now and it's broad daylight. <laughs> it's a funny joke. No disrespect by that, but that, come on. I mean, that's funny. And it's probably true. If you come here at 3 o'clock, how many people have been here at 3 a.m. and lived to tell the story? <laughs> we'll find out tonight, right? <laughs> Guys, I don't know how aware you are of this fact. Back in the day, it used to be New York City and Detroit were the two most prominent cities in the, the freaking spot, world. baby, the spot. And then, of course, everything hit the fan. <laughs> everything started blowing up. Literally, Nobody no, literally. ever. We actually used to park right here on the street. And it was actually a guarantee that your car was getting broken into and you were getting your car stolen. Yes. At best, like that's the least, of, the least of your worries is your car is not going to be here. And now they've turned this entire block into luxury apartments, bro. And it is beautiful. And I'm pissed that we never bought real estate here when we parked here. It was probably three dollars. It was probably literally a Happy Meal. And now look how beautiful this shit works. The true beauty is that they actually have combined these million-dollar estates 
with the old um, historical homes. I see a sign actually right there. <laughs> That's, oh, yeah. There's a for sale yeah. sign from a historic house. Let's go check it out. Yeah. The historical to me is like honestly better. And like I'd be more excited about getting a historical place than these new apartments. This one allegedly is for sale. One residence remains. It's not, it's, I guess it's just a rental. So why are we filming their house? <laughs> We're getting killed. <laughs> no, but you can see these are the super modern ones. And then these are the old, clearly renovated. I'm telling you guys, the history of Detroit runs deep. We're going through it this year. We're making a lot of videos this year and we're digging deep. I mean, like it goes back to the prohibition, the underground railroad, cars. I mean, uh, this was the place to be in America at one point. And it's gonna be that again. I'm telling you guys, when's gonna be the place to be? And thank God we are freaking here. We're gonna leave our stamp on this shit, guys. I'm telling you, we coming, baby. Ah! Not that tall. <laughs> Kareem Abdul Jafar. <laughs> I know I look like him. <laughs> Personally, my favorite part of Detroit is the fact that all four pro sports teams play within literally a block of each other. We're here at Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers. We have a home game tonight. We're not going, but the boys are buzzing. They are red hot, pushing for that last playoff spot. Long as Detroit sports are playing, long as the Tigers are playing, we're rooting for them. Let's go, Tigers, baby. And just down the street from Comerica Park is Little Caesars Arena, home of the Red Wings and the Pistons, and hosts most of Detroit's concerts, which we've got one going on today. I think it's Charlie XCX. I don't know what that name means, but. I mean, this place is, I'm biased. We know this. This is one of the best cities on the planet. I'm telling you guys, you got to get to Detroit. Guys, we have done so much walking today. All I want to do is just sit down. But tomorrow literally is the Lions game, which is all walking, all standing. I've Eric's gonna need to rub my legs tonight or something because this is insane. My legs hurt so bad. Oh man, it's like seven o'clock. I wish we could just teleport to our tailgate already. Oh wait. Ah, that's better. Lions game day. Bucks are in town. They're going down. Lions by a million. It's too easy, baby. But let's head on over to Woodward first to see if they have anything that would make our tailgate a little extra fun. Now Woodward has a ton of great shopping. We're gonna take you guys inside one of our favorite stores downtown. What up, dog? <laughs> Is crispy. Wait, I like that black on black moment. I'm getting that. <laughs> he sold me. <laughs> Cold weather, come tailgate here. <laughs> Eight miles scattered throughout, plenty of seating. We got the game on here, kick your feet up. I'll be here. <laughs> All right, so we got enough for me. We gotta find some to pass out now, right? <laughs> so we've got the new swag and we've got Z Vodka. What more could you want? Birthday boy. Happy. Let's go Lions, baby. Get Bryce Zapp. Get Bryce Zapp. Get Bryce Zapp. As you can see, from exhibit A through freaking Z, we have a little uh, mishap on the field here, okay? <laughs> on the field. <laughs> special, special thing about today, not only is there a Lions game going on, there's also a Tigers game. We're here. We're ready to whoop some bucks ass. We're ready to eat that pirate booty. Hold the pirate, add the booty, the Kim K booty. In the Pride Plaza turned into a dang fiesta because they were celebrating Latino Heritage Month.
gotta love her, love Karen, love everybody in this section. Jay, Kyle, everybody, let's f***ing go today. There ain't shit you could do today besides eat my booty, right? <laughs> let's go. We all know my Lions beat the Bucks twice last season. It's safe to say Tampa came into Detroit wanting to get their revenge. And unfortunately, that wouldn't be the only interception Goff threw today. Oh, Jesus. Tampa fans started getting really confident, and rightfully so, but one in particular started causing a lot of issues for our section. No, oh, trust me, that's not all right to do that. No. Trust me, I'm going to knock this guy out. But thankfully, the NFL takes fan safety very seriously, and he was quickly escorted out of our section. Hutch is going to go down as easily top five line of all time. He is so crazy to watch. It's his birthday, damn it. Dan Campbell, wake up. Give him his birthday gift. I'm in raw in the corner. And if that happens right now, if we don't gain 14,000 subs from this video. If that happens right now, he's going to hell. Let's go. Oh my God, he's in position. He's in position. Call it. The half is ending right there. We don't even get a field goal. No bullshit. Well, after that little halftime blunder by the Lions, we decided to go upstairs. If you guys remember, last week there was a Coney battle between the Rams. This week they brought it back against Tampa, and it was quite the battle. This, this is Tampa, this is Detroit style. Let's see what you got, Tampa. I can't, I don't even know if I can. I don't even know if I can. I hate this, because why does it look like but it tastes literally god dear. This looks like dog I'd never eat this. Why is that the most flavorful bite? Here's Detroit Coney, my very big favorite for this. I'm a very picky eater. I never get coney because I don't like mustard. I don't like onions. Honestly, I see what the hype's all about. I don't like any of these ingredients, but on this, this is God tier. Oh wait, Katie, we totally forgot. We asked all the Lions fans a very important question at the tailgate. This segment is brought to you by the best vodka on the planet, Eight Mile Vodka. We're men of the people. We're gonna go see what the people have to say about today's game. Who's going to have the biggest breakout game today? Uh, I'm going with my man Aiden Hutchinson, Hell for yeah. sure. Three Let's sacks go, today for Hutch. Hell. Let's go, baby. I'm on Ron St. Brown. <laughs> Jamar Gibbs. I'm on Jameer Gibbs. Yeah. Just feed the ball to Monty, that's what I say. Is my name Monty? Because I need another 8-mile vodka. <laughs> Laporta. I'm on Ron's going off today. I'm predicting 10 catches, 150 yards. It's too easy, baby. 
Hey, we couldn't, we could not be here without Adam from Norwalk, Ohio, always watching the videos. Always. This falls on you, Kyle. Let me know. This is my favorite person in the stands besides Karen. Adam. <laughs> yeah, besides Karen. Don't steal besides, my women, Kyle. That's I'm the one try. rule. Like the most beautiful. That's the one rule, no, Kyle. I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Anybody in Tim Patrick's camp at all watching this, we want him on the channel right now. Anybody, his agent, his ex-wife, his mistress, you name it, hit us up. We want Tim Patrick to welcome him to Detroit, put him in front of the fans, boys. So we're looking for Amin Ra Laporta. Amin Ra Laporta. Yeah. We're gonna score with a big JMO play here. Yeah. That's it. I, I really do believe he's the key to this offense and he's gonna be a part of it like every single time. It could literally be any play. That's the problem. That's what sucks about this offense. You could do nothing, 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 touchdown. It's crazy. Oh boy, run. Oh. Yes. What? One yard, bounty hunter as my witness. I will die on the field for one yard. Come on. I'm turning into my Ray Charles right now. I'm not even gonna watch. I'm gonna. My other senses picked up. I know when we when we get a first down or not. My other senses will pick up. I will not watch, and I will know if it's the first down or not. For some reason, I feel like it may be the two minute warning. <laughs> There's a minute left in this game and we need a touchdown to win. We have three timeouts, but we need to score a touchdown. I'm not okay with it. Tampa's just running it, running it, running it. We're gonna get the ball back with like 25, 30 seconds left for a chance to win. As a Lions fan, it sucked seeing the game end that way, but I'm sure Tampa fans were really excited to leave with a win. We're headed to Arizona for next week's video, and make sure if you're an NFL fan to hit that subscribe button to watch us go to a whole bunch of awesome stadiums this year. Thank you guys for watching. It's too easy, baby.